Now we're going to add another dimension to our database. This time we're going to add a parent-child dimension. In our data source view, we need to add this table in because it currently doesn't exist here. But with our reseller sales table, we have an employee key. And with that employee key, we have a table associated with that. We just right click in the designer background and select add tables and we'll use dim employee here add it to our set of included objects and then that gets placed into our designer and the relationships are automatically detected we have the primary key for employee key that has a relationship to reseller sales and also there's a relationship here from the parent employee key to the employee key. It's a self-referencing relationship. Let's take a look at the data. Here we have individual employees and for each employee the parent employee key represents that employee's manager. So Guy Gilbert's manager is here Joe Brown and Joe Brown's manager is record number 23 which is Peter Krebs and so forth. Before we continue, let's go ahead and rename this table to remove the dim. In addition, we need to add a named calculation to get the employee name here. We'll use last name and then concatenate a comma and a space and then the first name so that we have everything combined into one column for the name. Now let's use the dimension wizard. We'll right click on the dimensions folder in Solution Explorer, select new dimension. We're going to use an existing table, which is the employee table. The employee key is the key column, and then the name column that we want to display will be that named calculation that we just added full name. We'll click next. It detects a relationship to territory. We're going to ignore that for this purpose and then we have the attributes. So we can have employee and then we could have organization as the attribute name there and then we could choose other attributes if we desire. We'll just keep this dimension very basic with the two attributes shown here. Click next and then finish. Now because of this self-referencing relationship we automatically get this icon here with a usage type of parent. And there can only be one of these parent attributes in a dimension. So this creates a hierarchy automatically based on the self-referencing relationships. So we'll just deploy this and then we'll go to the browser and we can navigate down we can see Ken Sanchez at the top and then we see various employees if we take Brian Welker and navigate down we'll see individuals as we go down different levels of the tree and this is what makes a parent-child hierarchy is the fact that we can have one or more levels depending on different branches of our tree. Now what you'll probably notice here also is some repeating of names. So we have David Bradley with employees and David Bradley without employees. Also underneath the David Bradley we have a David Bradley again. Now the reason for the David Bradley with and without the employees is because in the data we have two keys for David Bradley one that's a manager and one that's not but the reason that we have David Bradley here below himself is because one can store data if David were to sell products and one is the grand total for everyone that is selling products so there's special properties that we have related to parent-child dimensions to handle this scenario. We have members with data where we can show non-leaf data visible or hidden.
So we can just hide those lower levels. Let's deploy this. And then when we go to the browser and reconnect, we'll see that David Bradley no longer appears at that bottom level. Now the totals in the fact table would still show up correctly. For the grand total, we just would not see an individual row specified for David with his individual sales. So that would be a user requirement to hide or show those values. And we can configure the dimension accordingly.